Hi beauties, I'm Jackie Dixon and you're watching VLX TV. I'm in an absolutely beautiful park in the middle of the city of Budapest in Hungary. This park is an island in the middle of the river and it reminds me a lot of Central Park, just this huge expanse of green that I would bet a lot of people use as a respite after work or during lunch or on the weekends and we've seen a ton of families and people riding bikes and walking and sitting in the grass. This is exactly the kind of place that's perfect to learn to receive God's love. When it comes to receiving love from God, one of the most important things that I've found that really works and helps me feel a lot closer to Him is to at least about once a month take an evening, an afternoon, or a morning and really get away from everything else, preferably in a beautiful, natural place, and just spend some time with Him. Now this is a little different from your daily quiet time with the Lord or time in the Word. This is a longer period, maybe two or three hours or a whole four or five. You can even dedicate an entire day if you want to take a mini retreat on a weekend or something where you really just bask in his presence, slow down from the paces of life, don't check your technology, just go out in a place and be it with him. Now there's a couple tricks and tips for doing this well. First of all, you wanna come prepared, right? So I always take my purse, a water bottle, and the Bible, which is how I start, as I'll explain in a minute, doing this. The other thing, of course, is that you wanna make sure you're safe, so don't wander off late in the evening into a deserted place. I like to head toward parks where I know there are going to be a lot of people in the middle of the day, a lot of families around. Usually I like to say, you can hear a baby crying behind me, I like to stay somewhere where I can run to find help if I need it. I don't want to be in a deserted place as a woman alone, so please take that seriously. I don't want you to get hurt as you're trying to pursue the Lord. Somebody over there is having some real distress. I think he needs a little quiet time. So how do you get started? I bring my Bible with me. This is actually my husband's Bible. I left mine in the hotel room today, shame on me. Mine is a cute little blue. I suggest you pick kind of a small Bible that you actually really think is pretty and attractive. You'll actually want to read it more, I think. And then what I do is I just flip open to any verse. I ask the Holy Spirit to guide me to something that God wants me to hear, something that he might be trying to tell me to comfort me or encourage me, <laughs> to quiet my soul as that poor little kid over there needs. Uh, and in general, pretty much every time I've ever done this, something in the verse that I come to has spoken to me. And I think that's really just the Holy Spirit using the word to speak to your heart and what you need to hear. So open up to whatever verse and read however much you want. Read a couple verses or read an entire chapter or even a couple chapters. And then I want you to close the Bible and just sit with God and talk to him about it. If you had anything in that passage that kind of bothered you or you didn't understand or you feel like wow, that is exactly what I'm dealing with right now. I want you to just discuss that with the Lord. And he doesn't need any fancy language. He doesn't need you to be eloquent or prepared or use, you know, oh, almighty father. He's just your friend. So just chat with him. And as you're talking, I want you to also take moments of silence where you just kind of sit in his presence. And maybe you'll hear his voice and maybe you won't. That's no problem. Don't worry about it. People like Billy Graham and Mother Teresa have talked about the fact that they don't always feel this immediate vocal connection with God. So don't worry about that. I want you to just sit in the peace of his presence. And if you do this regularly, you really will find it easier to receive the love of God. And why is that? Because like hanging out with any friend, when you're with them more, you get to know them better. You trust them more. They're more of a familiar face, a familiar voice. And sure enough, soon enough, you're comfortable enough with them that you feel really that they, they do love you. So I want you to take this seriously. Church, of course, is important. Small groups are important, but long, periods of time in stillness with the Lord, studying the Word, is really going to help you receive the love of God. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so glad you've joined me here in this beautiful place today. If you liked this video, share it with your friends and subscribe. And for now, God bless you.